hey beautiful buddies welcome back to my channel please guys if you have not subscribed make sure you do it really means a lot to me and after you're done watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up because it helps me grow and the more engagement i get on my page and my videos the more videos i can create so please make sure to engage on my video comment down something that you think i should um, make or like you know shoot for a video something any requests or comment anything nice on this video <laughs> my link with your friends and family so as the title mentions that this video is gonna be about my best and worst buys of 2022 so how about we review everything that I have bought in 2022 and the things that I like and I don't like according to my opinion so let's get into this video here this is a hair mist that I bought from Elite okay <laughs> however you pronounce it but i got it from there um if you guys know kara cows she's the owner of uh, kara cows and also has this there and it's one of the best buys guys it smells heavenly it lasts for really long even after your hair sweats it still smells like so so good like so good best product is these argan oils just look at these guys guys these are from the brand hask and i just love them and the best thing about these are that the size is so convenient you can carry it in your handbag you can you know travel with it it moisturizes your hair so well i really love it it brings the shine i have really thick and curly hair so it really really helps me and this is another um, argan oil that I bought I bought all these products from care for when I went to Dubai last year and I love them the product that I got last year was this wishful um, scrub enzyme whatever yo glow from Huda Beauty and guys this is the most useless product I've bought in my life like it's so useless it doesn't even work well honestly then I got these hairpins from you know some lady that sells these here they're kitenge um, hairpins and guys these are the worst for your hair like I, they're so uncomfortable something about these are just not comfortable enough I really didn't like them guys this is my next my pillow this is the best buy guys i love i love this pillow like i got two of them from discount center like they're these really huge pillows and guys if you have a lounge room if you have a bedroom if you have a sitting room whatever room that you have i mean if you don't have these pillows they're such a life savior like if you don't want to sit on the table and you know maybe you have a small room like mine and you want to just place these pillows somewhere and use them for comfort you can use them during work you can use them when you have guests and i mean the list goes on and on so let's talk about this hair mist it's a mask pure mask hair mist that i bought from a reseller here who bought this from dubai and the smell of it is very light but i didn't feel that it lasts really long on your hair but it's good for like you know if you just want to smell good like really quick it, it doesn't last so long but it's still one of my best buys because the smell is not too strong um, anyone can apply it on their hair and it does not damage my hair the purpose of this is it fights spot causing bacteria and starts working instantly it's a lie believe me it's a lie in fact i think i just got more pimples from this and it didn't work and i don't know it's supposed to like um you know clear my blemishes but it didn't it didn't work and then we have this day moisturizer from tea tree is this the best 
yes for oily skin i hate once again i repeat i hate it when my body feels oily including my face and this moisturizer literally like dry it moisturizes your skin and at the same time doesn't leave your skin feeling oily so it's definitely one of my best buys you have watched one of my previous um vlogs you would know that i mentioned these eyeliners and these eyeliners are from color bar the texture and everything about it is like so good the texture is like really soft and it's not harsh on your skin on my eyes nothing it doesn't burn my eyes and my mom also got me um this chamber get of a extreme eyes whatever um long wear call and it's actually long wear it's so hard to come off and it's black in black it's so pigmented it's so nice it's so soft i mean don't want to miss it and then i bought this rimmel mascara last year let me just show you the brush this it's a volumizer and yo i love this i got this from a res not uh, an official reseller but someone who sells makeup here her name is sadia mohammed and i love love this mascara and another best buy was this nyx um lingerie double xl liquid lipstick and it's what i'm wearing currently it lasts very long on your lips and the best thing about this is that it's not overly dry it doesn't damage your lips after you take it off and it lasts really long after guys this shoe here just look at this shoe how cute does it look it's actually one of the most uncomfortable shoe i've actually worn i know the heel is very tiny whatever but it's so uncomfortable like i never expected it to be this way i actually bought this last year when i went to dubai and you know when i walked with these shoes in the um inside the shop i was like okay they're cute whatever but for the longest wear if you're like going to a wedding whatever they're just not good that i actually got blisters from them i know you can't tell but they're horrible and then we have these shoes from these flip-flops from h m i got these last year they're honestly not the best there's something about these shoes that are actually they look really good and i got these when i was like very desperate because it was on my graduation day and i was in dubai mall and i was wearing heels at that point of time but something about these are somehow uncomfortable i i really love the look of it and honestly i would still continue wearing them but there's still something about them that feel very uncomfortable i don't know what it is these leggings here look at this label all over instagram it's there when you go to kariako there are shops where you can get these i got this from night sook in dubai now the thing about this tag if you want to get these leggings you see over here it's written rdmo that's the tag's name and then there are others that are um, written ronde so the thing about ronde leggings right now is that some of them are kind of messed up when whenever you buy leggings from ronde and you're like an xl or a double xl um they end up not fitting they just don't fit so these rdmo ones are the latest version and the quality of it is thicker and it fits even someone who's triple xl so these are one of my best buys and they're so so comfortable they are the quality is good it's so so reasonable and it lasts for really really long like you know even after like 100 washes it is we have this necklace here it's like so cute and it has my name written on it i got this necklace from yana jewelry she is a local brand here and you know when she kept on advertising that her necklace doesn't color doesn't come off and whatnot i was like okay that might be a scam because i've been scammed before when it came to jewelry but it it's actually very true i've showered with this wore it when i was sweating the most and I've worn it like a hundred times since I bought this and the color is exactly the same in fact 
I see no difference from when I bought it till today. The condition is so good, mashallah. So yeah, this is one of my best buys. It's this Arabic snap up thing. If you can buy this for yourself, do your favor and get it. Cause for the past, I think three months, I stopped going for walking, whatever, and this saves my life. So I got, the, I know this top looks really cute, the color, the material is so comfortable. I've worn it like um, a few times and the most annoying part about this is that, you know, when I bought it, the size was different and after wash, it just became smaller and it's so annoying. And that's why I'm just gonna keep it at my worst buy because I didn't expect this from this top. Like I love it, I still love it. Like right now when I wear it, I have to wear it with like a kimono because it's become so short and um, it somehow looks very funny because it's so short. I've worn this several times as well. So look at this material of this abaya guys. It's so good, it's so comfortable. It's perfect for the weather here. This is one of my favorite because I think it was so unique and it was literally the last piece since I wore this abaya, I'm not gonna lie, I have not seen someone wearing a tie-dye abaya here in Dar es Salaam. And that's why I really, really love this abaya. Like, it's so cute, it's so comfortable, it's so lightweight, and so fashionable when I wear it. And it's just beautiful. And it's one of my, okay. I think I'm using the word and, 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 and. This is one of my best buy, guys okay cut guys cut cut thank you for watching my video till the end if you have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment something down below don't forget to subscribe don't don't thank you so much bye see you next time